Hello stalkers and uh, welcome back to my channel. A uh, viewer asked me if I know of any PIP scope mods and unfortunately there aren't any available right now apart from some weapons mods like uh, BAS. But I have a mod that will make all your scopes in your game look cool and much more realistic than they are. This mod is called Shader Driven Scopes. What this mod does it adds a small shader to your game and when you zoom in with your scope well, this kind of magic happens. This mod is not complicated to install, but you need to follow some steps. This is why I made this install tutorial, and I'm also going to show you how you can customize it. Make sure to like and share this video so you can help others find this tutorial that I made. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on my videos on Stalker Anomaly. So how we're going to install this mod. So first thing, we're going to open up the shader driven scopes. And we have a bunch of options. We have uh, shader driven scopes. No DTLX, so if you have if you don't have the TLX, this is the one that you want to install first. So this you can see it's a game data and then there's a bin. So we can't just uh, copy this and put it inside the uh, mod organizer because well the mod organizer can't really install this bin as it is. I think GS GME might be able to tackle this. So I'm gonna go to my mod organizer here. And I'm going to make a new folder. Just right click, new folder. And I'm going to name it uh, Scope Driven Shader. No DTLX. Right? No DTLX. So I'm going to call it that first. So we have mods. Uh, scope driven shader no DTLX. So I'm just gonna grab this game data here and I'm just gonna drag it here and that basically installed this uh, scope driven shader. So next step is we need to insert this exe file which will basically replace our exe files but they don't really like that because if I need to like remove this mod maybe it will bug you know in the future i don't know uh so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be a bit cheeky here i'm gonna go where my anomaly is i'm gonna go bin and then i'm gonna make a folder here and this time i'm just gonna name it new folder right and i'm just gonna grab the anomaly with the direct text that I need. So I have direct X11 with AVX. So I'm just going to grab that. Then I'm going to call it uh, anomaly with scope shader. Right? You can name it whatever you like. So I'm just going to grab that, cut, put it in here. And then I can just delete this uh, new folder. So once we have this anomaly with shader scope uh, exe file here, we have to tell mod organizer to load this up. So what I have to do, I have to load my mod organizer. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to press edit. I'm going to press on this plus over here, add file. And then I have to go to bin. And I'm going to load Anomaly with Scope Shader, right? Then you can name it whatever you like here. Uh, press OK. And then we have to select it. One, Anomaly with, uh, yes, this one. So I have this one on. And then we have to turn on this one, Scope Driven Shader. So I just turn it on. And press Run. So this is going to load the game without a launcher, right? And if you want to load the game with a launcher, you just have to go back here and reselect the launcher. But you have to remember that if you load 
Lo if you load the game with just a launcher, it's not gonna use the uh, scope uh, driven shaders at all. And as you can see, it uh, works perfectly. So if you have BIS, you need to install uh, another patch, right? It's in the zip file. But this is a, w a great way where you can basically just turn on and off these uh, scope shader. Not that you're going to turn it off once you have this, but I mean, just in case, you know, if something bad happens, you don't have to like reinstall anomaly or do some weird stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you how scope shader has to be uh, set with BAS and I'm also going to show you a little bit of load ordering when, when you have uh, beef uh, night vision okay so as you can see I have shaver driven scopes no DTLX shaver shader driven scopes BAS patch right so make sure it's like this then I have beefs MVG and then I have beefs MVG with a patch with uh enhanced shaders right and have this 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 we'll talk about this later on this this is a mod that i'm uh, working on um so we're gonna load the game once more uh, i'm in the bug mode so i can easily set it to night time make sure that you know when you're uh, installing these type of mods you're in the bug mode because you want to test every scope in the game and i'll show you why later on Let's set it to night time. Oops, the wrong one. I know. Night. The water. 22, that's fine. That's pretty, pretty dark. Uh, let's add a night vision devices. Go with the best night vision the game has. Uh, this one. Turn it on. So, this is Beef's uh, night vision. You probably know about this. Uh, so I use scope shader is gonna look like this and it looks like something weird something very weird right so it's basically conflicting with uh, scope shaders where's my yeah it looks like this as well it, it works like if you look at this it works perfectly but uh, you can see there's definitely something wrong so Beef is pretty intelligent guy and he knows that some people will download this, uh, you know, scope driven shader. So you go to uh, your MCM menu and Beef have this special option. If you have shader based 2D scope, check this box. So I'm going to check it on, apply, return, and let's see now, and it works. And it works. That's all you have to do. You have to just check that... Uh, that thing there and it works perfectly as you can see so i can basically have beefs uh, and vg with this uh, scope shader which is pretty pretty good so there's another thing that uh, i'm gonna show you so sometimes you will uh, have a scope like a custom scope or you know a custom weapon and it will have its own scope and when you zoom in it will look something like something like this and you're like what the heck happened here and well it's not a it's not a bug basically if this uh, scope shader doesn't know the name of the scope or this this scope is too small it will uh, look something like this the, uh, the radius of the scope but we can actually fix this very very easily so if, if i open my uh, uh my console here and i type scope radius scope radius uh, if I go 0 0.5 See I filled that up, but it's too much now. Um, let's go 0 0.35 That is not bad. That is not bad. Maybe you want it a little bit more, you know open. Let's go 38 As you can see I'm I'm sort of uh, opening this uh, The scope more and more so if I go to my debug menu debug menu and I go miscellaneous. This is, this is the scope that I'm using. I'm using the regular ACOG scope. So inside the mod of the uh, scope shader, there's a there's this file with a huge list of uh, scopes, basically. Hold on, let me see what it is. It's this one. You open it with a notepad. There you go. So, for example, ACOG, right? Where is it? 
Eh, I don't know what it is. Somewhere here though. So, for example, I don't know. You you have the ghost rifle and it's not fitting right, right? You just go here, right? And you just type, for example, 35. You save and then you test it. And you can also, you know, uh, add your own scopes. For, so, for example, I don't know. Uh, weapon. Uh, ACOG. Right? BAS. I don't know. And you can find these uh, these things inside the weapon themselves. So, for example, let me open up uh, BAS here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Mods. BAS. Right. So I go game. Config. Item. Weapon. Right. Let's find the weapon with the scope, right? Uh, AK-105. That's fine. AK-105, right? So I go find and I type uh, scope. I think it's scope texture, right? Scope texture. texture. There it is. So this, that's, that's one of the scopes that the, uh, uh, this weapon uses, basically. So for example, this scope is called uh, 1P29. So I grab this. Right, I add it to here. Make sure there's a comma on the back. Actually, equals. I don't know. You have to test this though. That's the that's the thing. Three eight. Right, something like that. The comma here. That's how that's how it should look. Uh, let's actually test this. Uh, AK one o five. Right with one p two nine. One p two nine. AK105 AK105SP is the special variant which is this one there you go and let's see let's see let's 1P29 1P29 one is 1P29 1P29 there it is yep. found it. I have found it so let's. So this is one the one P two nine, and as you can see, I actually fixed that. It took me, <laughs> it took me you know a couple of hours to fiddle with them. But uh, for example, look, it's uh, I set it to zero point three eight, and it looks like this. And this is how it, it looked at first. So zero point three eight is not good. Let's go for O. For O, still not perfect. I see a little bit of edge. Let's go for two. 4-2 looks pretty good. Let's go for 5. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. There you go. So all I have to do now go here and just type 4-5. Then you just do uh, save. I right? just regular save. And that will uh, you know that will uh, save that scope. Ma by the way, make sure that this is in you do this when it is installed, because I'm doing it in my uh, you know my 7-zip, it's not going to work like this. <laughs> you have to put it in uh, inside your uh, mod organizer. So you have to do this. And if you have JSGME, uh, you have to do this, uninstall, reinstall. And you have to do that. This is why I switched to mod organizer too, because it's too fiddly. Anyway, so that is done. That is done. But yeah, this, this, mod, this mod is great. Um, can set things up how you like so another thing that you can do is we can change certain settings where for example I don't know we can change how much fov we have how much clarity we have and I'm actually gonna show you how to set this and if you screw up you can also for example just delete uh, all the settings that you have changed um, I'm gonna show you how so let's let's use something Let's use an ACOG, right? Let's use a regular ACOG. So this is how it looks right now. So if I type scope in my uh, console here, we have a lot of options. These are all options available that we have. So to the text active, uh, I recommend you to not touch this. I think this, I think this will disable it. I'm not sure what it does. Yeah, I'm not sure what it does. It was one. I'm just gonna leave it one. Yeah, don't touch that. I'm, I'm not sure. 
I don't know what it does. So we have blur inner. Right now it's set to 0 0.2. Let's do one. And you can see it makes scope super blurry. So if we want a bit more clear picture, we can go 1.5. And as you can see, it's uh, getting more clear. So if you want your scope to be a bit more clear, or maybe you want it a bit more blurry, right? Because, you know, you can change that. So let's do another thing. Go scope again. We'll, go, we'll do scope blur outer. So that is one. I'm guessing it's the outer blurriness that we have. Let's set it to zero. And that's how it looks. Maybe you don't, you don't like the blur on the outside. Right? So that was set to one. I'm going to set it back to one here. And as you can see, it's blur, blurred again. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, and later on I have to show you something else, because... Uh, let's see, brightness. We have brightness is set to 1. Let's go 0. What happens? Oh, there you go. So that's the brightness of the outside of the scope. Maybe you want it a bit more dark, right? Because you want, you want your eye to focus a bit more on the scope. So you can do 0 0.5, I don't know. I'm going to set it back to 1. I like it 1. Right, let's, let's see next option here. What else do we have? We have uh, CA, that means chromatic effect. And if you don't know what chromatic effect is, basically this thing I'm going to show you on my reshade here, because I, I actually use it. It's 0 0.3, right? It's this effect here. If you look at the trees, you look at the trees, right? You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. It's basically uh, an effect that uh, some old cameras uh, make when you take a picture. Um, it makes like a blue and red line, I think around the outline, I mean, around, you know, the objects. I, I, I like to use it on my, on my reshade because it makes some things look a bit more uh, beautiful. Um, but we can also change this in our shader scope. So right now, if I go CA, scope CA, is it CA? CA, it's 0 0.066. So let's let's exaggerate this, right? Let's go 0 0.1. And as you can see, it's super exaggerated. Like um, I took some drugs or something. So <laughs> let's go 0 0.0. 066, this is how much it was, right? Yeah, go 0 0.6, still too much. And as you can see, that is 0 0.01. And I mean, I can I can kind of see it. Let's see, without reshade. Yeah, I can I can still see it. And yeah, yeah, look at that. You can kind of see it there on the uh, trunk of the tree. Let's do, let's go default here. That is the fault. That's pretty good need though. And you can also, oops, you can also uh, remove it if you want. So you can do, I don't know, 0, 0.0. So this, like this, you will remove it. But I think I think you should you should probably have some. By the way, uh, scope reshade, it doesn't take that much performance. It maybe takes, I don't know, the percent from my GPU. I mean, it, that is nothing. So enable reshade again. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we are in CA. What's next? Sco oh, this one. This one is really, really cool. This is a scope factoring. It's basically how much uh, your scope is zooming in. So 0 0.66. This guy, this guy likes six, six stuff, right? Um, let's go 0 0.1. And as you can see, um, I zoomed in like crazy. It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Let's go 0.5. So that is a lot more zoomed in than it was. It was 0 0.6, 6, 6, as you can see. So you can, you know, inc artificially increase the zoom of the scopes. Uh, let's go 0.5. As you can see, there is not a huge jump, right? You can set this how you like. Um, 6, 6. Right, what else do we have? Because I don't know them by by heart, you know. Um, let's see, so it's... Uh, this one changes the f 
the fog inside the scope. Let's see here. Scope fog. So it's point fifteen. Let's go point one. Yeah, I'm not sure what this this one does. Ah, uh, okay. So it moves that uh, it removes that uh, scope situatingy. Let's go zero. Uh, there you go. See, it's super. Yeah, that is super annoying. It's like my scope is broken basically. So zero point fifteen. I don't think you should uh, change this. This is perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I think. Right. Let's. Uh... So we have we have uh, scope fog radius one point two five. Alright, uh, one point two five. Let's go one. Yeah, that makes the that makes that thing a bit smaller. Let's go one point five. As you can see now, it's a lot bigger. Let's exaggerate a bit here. Let's go five. <laughs> uh, okay, that is very that's very weird. Right, let's set it back to default. I don't think you should change that. I think that's set to. Where it should be perfectly uh fog sharpness this one makes a huge difference actually let's go zero. Oh, okay so that's one that's two as you can see it's getting sharper and more clear that's three this was default four let's go ten as you can see my scope is getting a bit more bright that's pretty cool though it's quite quite cool let's set it back to how it was for okay let's see so we are in shops fog sharpness or sharp fog sharp this is sway m is how your uh, uh you know that black thing is going to move sway move as well fog travel let's see five I don't see much difference, tell you the truth. Let's go zero. So yeah, that changes how the thing's going to move. Okay, that's pretty cool. Two five. Put it back to how it was. That's pretty cool. So we have also then we have also uh, travel, which is pretty much the same thing. Actually, that was travel. Oh, okay. Uh, so and then we have scope radius. And this one will help you find, you know, the uh, scope size for each uh, gun, the one that I showed you before. So let's say you change some of these, right? And you're like, oh my god, it's looking horrible. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. So I'm just gonna quit the game and I'm gonna show you. So I'm completing the game. So what you have to do, you have to go to your game. Uh, let's see, let's see, where is it? I think it's in app. Oh, yeah. So go to your game, go find app data folder, find user TLX. This is where all your settings are, by the way. And we're going to, we're going to search uh, scope. And we should find this one. These. So all you have to do, you have to delete these. Basically, all of them, like this, and then press save. And then just reload the game. And once you reloaded the game, the game will uh, reset all those settings, remake all those settings for you. And there'll be just, you know, the default settings, how they are. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial slash <laughs> mod showcase. Uh, I'm going to make some special episodes for Halloween. And I'm going to play survival mode, the one where, you know, we get swarmed by zombies. I'm actually going to try to survive and at the same time, I'm going to test out some mods with you. So make sure to, you know, uh, subscribe and like. Also, if you have some friends that, you know, have problems with this uh, mod, make sure to share this video. And I'll see you for uh, more episodes and videos for uh, Stalker Anomaly. And yeah, gonna eat those uh, pumpkins now. Bye and thanks for watching.